Hello, Montreal. My name is Nath. I am all the way from Australia. This is my first time at JFL, and I come with good news, my friends. Australia just passed marriage equality. Oh, yeah, give it up for the Aussies. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. I've been with my boyfriend, Cody, for five years. That's 25 in gay. And look, <laughs> awful name, great guy. He's really hot. He's a doctor. Stop mentioning it. Anyway, <laughs> Australia had to vote for our gay rights. They had an election to decide on it. And, and the debate was long and it was ugly. And when they uh, announced the results, it was at 10 a.m. on a Wednesday. I had to set my alarm, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> like I hadn't been through enough. Anyway, at 10 o'clock, they announced it was yes, and everyone went sick. It was a great moment because we just want the option. That's all that matters, is just the option at 10 a.m. At 20 past 10, text message from my mother. First text message on the day. Did it say, well done, or I love you, or I'm proud of you? No, it just said one word from Lynn, and that word was, when. She just wrote, when? So I went from being a gay man to an unmarried woman over 30 on this planet <laughs> in 20 minutes. How did, I, how did I swap minorities so quick? <laughs> Ladies, I now bow to you with the utmost respect. I don't know how you've lived this life of when hanging over your head since birth. I've had it for four months. I'm already falling apart. Christmas Day, my unmarried sisters, my unmarried cousins were just sitting back, feet up, sipping cocktails, having the most relaxing Christmas day of their life, watching Cody and I cop it from every single relative all day. When are you going to do it? When are you going to do it? Set the date. Set the date. Set the date. At one point, my sister pulled me aside and said, you wanted a quality dickhead? Here it is. This is what you fought for. All your Christmases ruined for revs. OMG. <laughs> Let's turn back the clock. Oh my God. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, hey, mums, psycho. We love you, but you're nuts. My mum's in her mid 60s and she's obsessed with death. Not her own, just death in general. Do you ever get the death call from mum? It's a weird game show that she likes playing, day or night, out of nowhere. Hello? Hello, Nathan. Guess who's dead? Jesus, mum, is it dad? What's going on? <laughs> Your mum will always give you too much information, no matter what. Always too much information. Every time you get a present from your mum, she will tell you the same five things about that present in the same order every single time. As soon as you open it, she will tell you what it is, even though you can see it. <laughs> then she'll tell you how much she got it for. Then she'll tell you how much it was when it wasn't on sale. <laughs> then she'll tell you where she got it from. And then she tells you what you do with it. So it goes, Merry Christmas, Nathan. That is a sweater, $45, down from 55. That's H&M, you wear it. <laughs> I've been Nate Falbo. Thank you so much for listening. Have a good night, everybody.